In my previous review of the Lenovo Y530 gaming laptop, I noted that it had thermal throttling present while under combined CPU and GPU load in its out-of-the-box configuration, but just how much of an improvement can we expect from a repaste? In this video, I'll take you through the process of repasting and show you the before and after temperatures to see if it's worth doing. Just as a reminder, my Y530 has the quad-core i5-8300H CPU and NVIDIA GTX 1060 graphics, which doesn't seem to be available in all regions. In the US for instance, I think you can only get the 1050 Ti. In order to see the difference, I've tested it three different times. The first test was at stock settings, with no changes apart from Windows updates since I originally reviewed the machine in January. After that video went up, Bob of all trades suggested a BIOS update that may help with the thermals. So I've also gone from this version to the latest currently available, which sure enough in the changelog notes that it updates the fan table. Let's start by establishing a baseline. All testing was completed with an ambient room temperature of 21 degrees Celsius. These are the differences with the BIOS update first to see if it changed anything. Testing was done with a combined CPU and GPU workload by running the ADA64 stress test and Heaven benchmark at the same time to fully load the system. In terms of temperatures, I actually had slightly warmer with the new BIOS with the minus 0.15 volt undervolt applied. There was constant thermal throttling on the CPU at 94 degrees Celsius at stock. However, even with the undervolting, there was still intermittent thermal throttling when it would spike up, which I think is what we're seeing with the warmer average after the update. These are the clock speeds for the same tests just shown. Again, there wasn't really a difference here between the old or new BIOS, so it was good to rule that out. Now let's get into the repasting. Getting inside the Y530 is quite straightforward. Just use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the 11 screws underneath. I then needed to use a pry tool to remove the bottom and access the internals. In the Y530, you don't actually need to remove the fans, but I wasn't sure going in so disconnected them first. All you need to do is loosen 7 screws over the CPU and GPU dies and remove the heat pipes. I had this piece of tape sticking the fan to the heat pipes which seemed difficult to remove so I took the lazy approach of cutting it. Here's what we're looking at in terms of stock paste underneath. Most of it seems to be on the removed heat sinks. There are a fair few thermal pads here too. I didn't bother replacing them like I did in the Aero upgrade and just left them in place. You can clean off the old paste using isopropyl alcohol. I've got an old kit of Arctic Clean which is just a paste remover and is by no means required, but that's what I used. Once cleaned up, it's time to apply the paste. I'm using Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut, and as always, please do feel free to tell me how I've applied both too much and not enough paste at the same time. I did make a bit of a mess, but it should get the job done. Once complete, it's basically a case of reversing the process. Put the heat pipes back in place and screw them in. I tried to do each screw around halfway first before the final tightening to try and help spread the paste a bit more evenly. Stick the bottom panel back on and put the rest of the screws in and we're done. Time to test it out. I've expanded the results graph to include two new tests after the repasting. At stock settings and with the undervolt applied. At stock, there was no difference in terms of thermals. However, we'll see how the performance was affected in the next graph. With the undervolt applied though, there was a 4-6 to six degree improvement so we're at least no longer hitting thermal throttling, which is an improvement I'm happy with. These are the clock speeds after the repasting, and we can see that even without the CPU undervolt, there is an improvement to CPU clock speed under this workload of more than 200 MHz on average over all four cores. While it's still thermal throttling here, as we just saw, the throttling is less than before and it's performing a bit better. If we look at the results with the undervolt, we're getting the full 3.9 GHz all-core turbo speed of the i5-8300H CPU. And while we could reach this before with the undervolting, now the thermal throttling has been eliminated. With a simple change of thermal paste, I was able to improve performance and lower temperatures in my Lenovo Y530 gaming laptop without any trouble. It would be great if I could do this with more laptops, but unfortunately I can't with borrowed review units, as it would affect the results for other reviewers. As I own the Y530, I can do whatever I like. I'm sorry this video took so long to make. The last few months have just been insanely busy. I'm actually putting off my first 9th gen laptop review to finally get this done, so I hope you found the results useful. Let me know what sort of improvements you're getting from repasting. And if you're new here, get subscribed for future tech videos like this one.